Welcome to Raxus. Today, you are going to be invited into the workings of a red team. A red team is a group that plays the role of an enemy to provide security feedback from that perspective. Let's get right into the video. Step one, plan the attack. The Raxus team use readily available tools like maps, DNS, social media, and others to study the target company, looking for possible ways in and assessing on-site security. The company used an RFID badge system, but Raxus found images of the badges and access points online. With that information, team members determined that badges could be copied and their data cloned. Step 2. Find a way in. Once on site, Raxus monitored the facility as well as the employees, even counting the seconds it took a door to swing shut after a badged employee walked in. Today, there was enough time to walk in behind an employee, unnoticed, and bypass the access controls completely. And just like that, Raxus is inside. Step 3. Attack. Team members laid low until they were pretty sure no one noticed their presence. Once they could roam the building freely, the team planted multiple devices that gave them persistent remote access to the network. Still unnoticed, they decided to go on a treasure hunt and what they found was incredible. Password list, unsecured badges, and even a laptop they removed from the facility and examined at the safe house. Meanwhile, Raxus was at work outside the building as well. From a nearby parking area, they used a high grain antenna and specialized software to capture a device handshake and crack a public shared key. Raxus leveraged that information to access a company wireless network which was connected to the production network. This established yet another avenue of persistent access. But Raxus wasn't done. The team also launched a customized spearfish that captured the credentials of key employees. Raxus used the stolen credentials to mine inbox sensitive data like bank accounts, credit card numbers, and additional passwords. At this point, Raxus had successfully demonstrated the team could gain illicit and undetected access to the facility and the network. Step 4. Submit the findings. If it wasn't for Raxus, this company would have continued to operate without knowledge of their security weaknesses. But the team's findings were documented clearly and submitted to the target, a company that now knows where it's vulnerable to attack. Thankfully, we are the good guys that prevented the bad guys from ever being able to do this. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more behind-the-scenes content.